guys, so you're going to come over here to this home buying poster brochure rough draft. Jerry, put your phone away. Pay attention at least for the directions. Okay, so you're going to come here. And as soon as it thinks long enough. All right, Caesar, how many people can you work with? Good morning, miss. You have your pass? I, uh, go get your pass. They didn't give them no pass, miss. Go, go get you a pass, they, they didn't give them no pass at the front. Baby, you're 15 minutes late. Go get me a pass. Man. All right, but I'll see you tomorrow. All right, that's on him. All right, guys. Caesar, how many people do you get to work with on this project? It's on the board. I'm going to ask each of you questions off the directions, so make sure you have the directions up. Group of two, okay? So you can have a partner if you'd like. Jose. Do you just turn it in or do you and your partner turn it in? You both turn it in. Yeah, I have to be able to see it. It's okay to work on the same document. That's fine. Ethan and Sean, what are you supposed to be doing? What's the point of this project? Yeah, why, uh, Jerry, why are we doing that? What's the goal? Do you have the directions open? What, what's the point of making the brochure? What are you doing when you're making that brochure, that poster, that presentation? What are you really doing? Hint, I highlighted it for you. Yeah. Santi, why is summarizing important? Yes. So when we look at ways that help you guys learn material, memorizing is like 10%, but if you have to summarize or compare or contrast, you retain 60% of what you talked about. Much, much better than memorizing, right? Okay, so you're gonna wanna break it into three phases. I already gave you those three phases, preparation, search for and secure a house and make it official. Then for some reason, the professional examples didn't show up. I'll pull those up. What I'm grading it on, is it understandable? I don't wanna read a novel. The whole point is you're making it simple and like an iconographic. Make it professional. So use proper language, make sure you're capitalizing, make sure you're using proper punctuation, make sure it's accurate. Make sure you're using at least 10 of the vocab words. Thank you, sweetie. We're gonna be working on this today and it should take you the whole class period. If you tell me you're done in 15 minutes, you're already failing. Okay, key vocab words. These are your key vocab words. And let me see if I can find, I had examples, but for some reason the pictures aren't showing up. Um, nope, none of those things are the things. I'll see if I can find the examples and put them on the screen. Okay. So what I'm looking for, these are, these are online professional ones. Okay, this is, this is fine, this one right here. But I'm going to say it's not very interesting. When I'm looking at this, I'm already bored. It's a brochure. I had, oh, this one's actually pretty good. I like this one because, oh, if I can... See how it has a simple picture for each thing? Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that there's a simple picture so that you can understand what's going on, okay? So what I'm looking for, let me grab this. Good morning. Glad you guys are here. So we have, thank you. The three phases is prepare. Then you have search and secure and then the last one is like close 
So what are some steps that would go in the prepare category, y'all? So you're probably gonna wanna do some rough draft situation. Today's a rough draft. It's not looking for perfection, but I am looking that you're on the right task. What are some steps that you do to prepare to buy a house? Before you even buy the house, what are you doing to prepare? Look at what you can afford. Okay, we're gonna look at the market. What else are you gonna do? Find the right realtor. Okay, you're gonna find a realtor. What else are you gonna do? Mario's like MVP right now. Anybody else got anything to say? Talk to me about money. What do I need to do with money before? Pre what? Pre-approve or pre-qualify. Okay, we're looking at first make your little sets, what goes on each one. Then you can work on making an iconographic. You're gonna be working with a partner, you can pick anyone you want, but there's only gonna be two in a group. You can also work by yourself if you wanna work solo, that's fine. Okay, so you have the rest of the hour to work on that. If you're getting stuck, let me know and I'll help you. We did. We did? Yeah.